like a stray cat. Yes, I don't know if like that. Maraming maraming salamat sa question. Kaya para kasi naman din ang pinapanood sa nila, Lord God. Gawain ko, Lord God. Nawa, Lord God, ikaw, ikaw ang gumabay sa amin ngayong araw na ito, Lord God. Nawa, Lord God, itagoy niyo sa, sa inyong mababang likuran ng siyang mag-i-speak ngayong araw, Lord God. Lord God, ang inyong banal na dugo, banal na presensya at espiritu, Lord God, ang dumalay sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin ngayong araw, Lord God. Ikaw na ang mangunat at naghari sa amin ngayong araw, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Good afternoon, Qatar. Oh, good, good afternoon, Qatar. Good, uh, good evening, Philippines. Sa mga kapatid, no? Tayo po ay patuloy nga mag-aaral sa ating Bible Exposition, no? Nandito po tayo upang patuloy nga si Lord nawa ang maparangalan. Uh, sa pagal ko po dito, sa paghanda ko po ng... Outline na to talagang hirap na hirap talaga ako sa totoo. Alam naman natin, buti na lang mayroon tayong isang kapatid na uh, walang sawang nag, uh, nagagabay sa atin kahit pa paano. Baga natuturoan na tayo. Kaya salamat sa Panginoon na mayroon pa rin siyang ginamit para tayo baga ituwid sa mga ganitong gawain. Kaya mga kapatid, salamat po sa patuloy at pagagabay sa akin. Qatar, Philippines, thank you po sa lahat. Nawa si Lord ang patuloy na pinaparangalan. Ngayon po ba? <coughs> Jesus po. Ang passage po natin ngayon ay sa Matthew 8.23 to 27. Yun ay isdito, mga kapatid. When he got into the boat, his disciple followed him. Tayo po yung manalangin. O Lord, maraming salamat o God sa gabi ito, Panginoon. Lord, Punuin mo kami ng iyong karunungan, Panginoon, na walang God, maunawaan namin ng lubusan. Ang mga salita, Panginoon, sa Christo. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. When he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. Verse 23. Behold, and behold, there arose a great storm in the sea, so that the boat was being covered through the waves. But Jesus himself was asleep. And divide and take him unto him and walk him, seeing, see, but Lord, we have a, our piercing, we are piercing. He said to them, Why are you afraid? You men of little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and it became perfect storm. The men were amazed and said, What kind of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Ang title po natin mga kapatid sa hapong ito is Jesus Calm the Storm. Magigita po natin ang picture ng mga kapatid. Kung titignan natin mabuti ang bangka, kung paano binabayo ng, ng matinding bagyo, matinding hangin, matinding, matinding alon. <clears throat> At dito po mga kapatid, meron po ako ipapakita sa inyo ito ang tatlong synoptic gospel. Alam naman natin, masablo sa atin kasi base sa pagtuturo na ating mga leaders, kung baga paano magkahambing ang tatlong ganto, tatlong buko to, book of Matthew, Mark, and Lucas. Ang synoptic gospel ay mahalagang aspeto na pag-aaralan upang makita natin ang kabuang detalye ng mga nang mag, magkapatibay sa mga pangyayari na kapaloob sa bawat pinto. Here on in chapter 8 of Matthew, we see the, the Lord has begun to show His power. Chapter 1 to chapter 7, who is in the his the genealogy of line of kings as the fear of prophesied Isaiah. Happened, then we also saw the guidance of heaven in His life in the confirmation of kings. Here in chapter 8, we see that in order to prove the truth of this de declaration regarding his Messiah and divinity, he showed his power of miracles. Dito sa kabanata, may kita po natin mga kapatid kung paano sinaliwanag ang, ang mga pangyayaring nakaraan sa, sa nakaraang Matthew 1 to 7. Matthew 8, 1 to 4. 
authority over the sea. In Matthew chapter 8, 5 to 13, authority over the sea. Matthew chapter 8, 14 to 17, authority over the sea. Matthew 8, chapter 18 to 22, authority over others. Recap on last week's teaching of line. The course of discipleship, passage Matthew 18, 19 to 22. The two personal hindrance in following Jesus. One, personal comfort, verse 19 to 20, mababasa po natin doon. Two, personal positions, verse 22 to 20, 21 to 22. How the Bible does describe the power of God. He is the power of God. Power from God. Nababasa po natin sa John 1, 2, 3. The source of everything. He was in the beginning with God. All this come into being through him, and apart from him, nothing come into being that has come into being. Psalm 62, 11. The power belongs to God. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard this the power belongs to God. Job 36, Job 26 to 14, verse 14, Behold, this are uh, the, the fringes of his ways, and how faint a word we, we hear of him, but his mighty thunder who can understand. Isaiah 4, Isaiah 26, 4, the Lord, the everlasting power. Trust in the Lord forever, for in God, the Lord, we have an everlasting rock. Hebrews 1, 1 to 2. Long ago, God spoke many times and in many ways to our ancestors through the prophets. And now, in the, this, in this final day, He has spoken to us through His Son. God has promised everything to the Son as an inheritance, although the Son is He created the universe. The next three show his power over the natural elements, the supernatural world and the overseen. From the seas to the natural elements, the supernatural dominion of demons, then then sin and even death later on. All of these marvelous pictures of His power. Meron po tayong tatlong puntos sa ating pag-aaralan sa araw na ito. Teaching outline. One, the furious storm. Magkikita po natin mga kapatid sa verse 23 to 24. The purple sailors. Magkikita po natin, mababasa po natin sa verse 25. 23. Number three, the pitfall figure. Verse 26 to 27. Verse 6 position The furious storm. Verse 23 to 24. Jesus still the sea. When he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being covered with the waves. But Jesus himself was. Grabe po mga kapatid doon, kung mga kung isipin pa natin. Tagalogin ko po, nang sumakay siya sa bangga, sumunod sa kanya ang kanyang mga alagad. At narito may isang malakas na unos sa dagat, ano pat ang bangga ay natakpanan ng mga alam. Ngunit si Jesus mismo ay natutulog. No, grabe. When he got into the boat, nakikita po natin mga kapatid, ito po yung sa pag-aaral po natin, no, Ito yung deep found, deep 1986. Sila tayo po itong more than 2,000 years ago, itong bangkang ito. Alam po na, mababasa po natin dyan ang sukat, 27 feet, made, uh, feet long, sabi dito, no? may hita pa natin, 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters wide, with a maximum reserve height, 4.3 feet or 1.3 meters. The Greek word, the Greek word of boat is flowing. A terrible storm threatens to sink the, the, 
the disciples both. And verse 18 tells us, na makita ni Jesus ang mga tao sa kanyang paligid inuutos niya sa mga alagad na maghandang tumawid sa kabilang ibayo. Baga, doon po natin sa, sa verse 18 makikita po natin. The boat used here was probably the kind of familiar to many of Jesus' disciples who, who were fishermen, disciples as an ancient historian wrote there, wrote that there were usually more than 300 fishing both on the on the sea of Galilee on one time. During a storm, however, the sails were taken down to keep to keep them from scraping and to make the boat easier to control. Size of size of Sea of Galilee, nakikita po natin mga kapatid, 13 miles wide, 13, meter, 13 miles long, 600 feet below sea level. Nakikita po natin yung kung sa Mount Hermon po, doon sa pinakababang, kumbaga siya ang pinakababang bahagi ng Israel. <coughs> the Sea of Galilee is a, it's an unusual body of water. It's a relatively small, 13 miles long, 7 miles wide, but is, it is 100 feet deep, and the shoreline is 600 feet below sea level. Sudden, sudden storm can occur over the surroundings mountains with a little warning. Steering the water in so violent, since he fought with the disciples had not foolishly set out in the, in the storm, he had been fought without warning, and their danger was, was great. The Sea of Galilee is known for its sudden, furious storm. Ilalas siya. Nagbiglaan na lang pag-unos. Hanggang sa ngayon, mga kapatid, ang Sea of Galilee. Ngayon, ang pinimilit ng mga kramihan ay mabot sa isang punto kung saan hindi na ito mapakitanguhan ni Jesus at kaya sinabi niya siya panahon na upang umalis. This is a lesson of faith. But Jesus wants to teach, to teach his disciples. Jesus was tired. He was weary. The Sabbath day was over. I believe it was night time by now because it's already evening in the verse 16. Chapter verse 16. And now it is easier evening. It's late at night. The crowd has pressured him more than he can bear his human needs. We have to go now. Sabi ng Panginoon, sa pagkatapos ng huling restriction, hindi nila sa inundan. Ngunit ang ilan ay sumunod at sumakay din ng bangka. When he did that dance hung unto the, unto the outside of the boat. In fact, in Mark 4, 4 to 6, 6 there, there were also with him other little boats. Mahigita po natin sa Mark. And he and by the way, the Sea of Galilee is just covered in Jesus' time with, with a little boat. Jesus in a boat with some of his disciples. And by the way, by this time it is okay, recorded in Mark and Luke, he has already selected the 12. Kasama po doon. The word, the word matatays. Kumbaga ito yung mga. Here in this, in this case, or matatay means pupils or learners, followers. A legitimate disciple is a person who is willing to pay the price and understand the cost of discipleship. Meron ilang mga disipulo na konektado kay Kristo na walang protas. Katuwiran walang kabanalan, walang marka ng totoong kaligtasan. Ang nararapat sa kanila ay putulin at sinuging. Nasa paligid sila at sila ay mga alagad, ngunit hindi sila totoo. Makikita po natin sa Matthew 13 at Marcos 4, ang apat na klaseng binhi at isa lang ang may mga ay may may bunga. No, makikita po natin doon. They are all the tools that were following Jesus, four kinds of disciples, the seed sown on the tree, on tree it dies, on, on one it grows, 
One was real, three were not. Matthew 10, Matthew chapter 10, Jesus said, My true disciples are the ones who endure to the end. Diba? Makikita natin mga kapatid, no? And behold, 24, there arose a great storm on the sea. The word behold means word of exclamation. This was a shocking surprise and unexpected. They had seen these sailors had lots of storm. They had been on their little boat, little, little, little legs lots of time when the wind had blown. The Greek is seismos, which is means a Greek. We get the word seismo, seismograph from A. It means the great quaking or a great shaking. The sea of the sea or he shock the earth under the sea. God began to shake the earth. And when you shake the earth, the water reacts. Makikita po natin mga kapatid kung ikot po natin sa isang timba. Pag ginalaw ang isang timba, talaga makikita po natin kung paano mag-react ang tubig. By the way, a comparison, a comparison, the Greek word used in the Mark and Luke account is different word that means a whirlwind. Kung sa Bisaya, buhawi or a storm. You have an earthquake and a heaven and whirlwind. Huh? A terrible storm threatens to sink the disciples' boat. Mark as in Mark 4, <coughs> 7, and there arose a first gale of wind, and the waves were breaking over the boat so much that the boat was already piling up. Mabangis na ihip ng hangin at ang mga alon ay sumabog at ang, sa bangka at sa, na anupat na puno ang bangka. By this scenario, this is the real reason why we are in the state of panic, mga kapatid. Natakot po ang mga lagad. Take note, these are professional fishermen. For example, kagaya sa akin. And Jesus was with him. Who ever exists in that last words of this verse. No? Napupuno na ang ukan, ang bangka ng tubig. But Jesus himself was asleep. Grabe po ang Panginoon natin dito. Anybody who could sleep through this the way be retired. And that speak to me of Jesus humanist. He was not only so tired, he went to sleep, but even a storm couldn't wake up him. Mark 438 says, he made a little decision for his head. In Greek word, it is proskipaloin. It is a combination of two words. One, pros means two. Number two, kipale means a head. The word chosen simply means pilo, kumbaga unan. Only Mark mentioned this word in the entire New Testament simply because his focus was to Jesus' humanity. A sleep on the fusion signifies total rest and confidence. Grabe mga kapatid na ang Panginoon. Jesus was exalted due to the demand, demanded long and full loaded day of ministry. It is Israel in the midst of the raging storm, mga kapatid. Sometimes we can ask, what the significance why this kind of verse are written in the Bible? <clears throat> Jesus was sleeping, the creator of, of the word asleep. It was also part of the divine sea. The sea is a raging storm, it's howling. The little boat is tossed like a, a cork on the, in the ocean. It's piling up with water. He was a slave. He was upholding very atom in the universe at the same time. 
The pains in the grave indicate that he was down asleep, peacefully asleep. You see, third Jesus humanity for. And he has absolutely trusted the Father here to follow. Total absence of any care for my husband. Pinapakita po na ang isang mga dito. The curious storm. The first point, the curious storm. Let's proceed to the second point. So, the purple sailors, verse 25, and they came to him and woke him, seeing, see us, Lord, we are perishing. No? Dito natin makikita, pag tayo na natatakot, ito yung pinatawag natin, ito yung reaction ng tao. And they came to him and woke him. No? Napaganda. In desperation, the awakening and the sleeping Jesus crying out for him to see them. Although the disciples had witnessed many, many miracles, the panic when a storm struck. Bila mga bihasang marino, alam nila ang panganib ito at hindi nila alam o nakalimutan ay maaaring makontrol ni Cristo ang mga puwersa ng kalikasan. Application po mga kapatid. Madalas tayong natat- nakatagpo ng mga bagyo sa ating buhay. Kung saan sa palagay natin hindi maaaring gumawa o hindi gagawa ang Diyos. Kapag totoo na intindihan natin kung sino ang Diyos, malalaman natin na kinokontrol niya ang parihong bagyo at kalikasan. The nature of the, the troubled heart, dito natin may kita mga kapatid. Ito yung nature ng mga taong kumbaga nandun sa state of calamity. Like this testimony, nung ako po yung accident mga kapatid, short po, nagkaroon po ako ng kunti yung pag-alala po, no? kasi bilang amon ng tahanan, yung baga, during nakadapa ako, talaga sabi ko, paano na kaya? Baka anong mangyayari sa akin? Yung pagtayo ko, ang tagal ko nakatayo. Talaga, ang hirap kong tumayo. Narealize ko, bigla ako nakakot nung Halos hindi ako makatayo mga kapatid kasi sa sobra sa akin ang tuhod. Pero sa awa ng Diyos, kumbaga, may natanim na sa puso natin ang salita ng Diyos, huwag tayo matakot. Kaya doon, lumakas uli ang ating lakas. No? Bila mga mananampalataya, isa part ng buhay natin yun. No? Ang madapa, ang may bagyo sa buhay. Why? Because I understand that Jesus was with me. No? Makikita po natin. Kumbaga, Tulad sa kwentong ito na mayroon tayo isang bagay na natutunan dito. Sa kahit na kahit na may bagyo, huwag kalimutan iyon. Ang Diyos ay ang makakapigil sa bagyo. Ang ating bahagi ay matiling tahimik at idiklara na siya ay Diyos. Ito po yun. Jesus' power that can the storm can also help us deal with the problems with which Jesus is willing to help if we ask Him. No? Ang tanong, talagang gusto ng Panginoon na maglambing tayo sa Kanya. We should never discount His power even in the terrible trials. We are in desperation, the awakened, the sleeping Jesus crying out for Him to save them. No? Ganun lahat pa tayo mga kapatid. Jesus does not promise to us to have a smooth sailing on the other side of the lake, but rather to the lead us into the intention, intentionally, purposely, and sovereignty in order to teach our faith. Dito po natin masubukan. Remember, the well-known phrase, a faith cannot be tested, is a faith cannot be trusted. No? Totoo po yun. Dito naman subukan pag mayroon tayong pagsubok. It is not enough we hear a par- the parables. It is enough that we listen in God's view. It needs to be examined about the things we share po. Kailangan po natin yung mga narinig natin. Matthew, sa Matthew chapter 8, 25, And it came to him, and woke him, saying, Seed us, Lord, we are perishing. As if we are seeing, the Lord is not hearing silent or etc. By the way, the comparison in Mark 4.38 says, Teachers, do you not 
hear that we are searching, sabi ng mga apostol. Luke 24a, 18-24a, they came to Jesus and woke him up, saying, Master, Master, we are searching, sabi. There are different words expression. Why? Why? If not, we are in the middle of panic. Therefore, it could be to spoke different words. Alam po natin mga kapatid, kung nasa in terms of trouble, iba-iba ang masasabi natin. It will be, if you will be as in, in that, do you think there is a contradiction in the gospel writer? How? Do we correctly consult to explain? Dito talaga natin makikita mga kapatid, hindi po siya contradicted. The answer is that we are in the state of panic and fear knowing that these men are experiences or a professional fisherman compared to Jesus as a carpenter. No? Napakalayo na po ang gan. For example na lang, sa ating paragraan, kung ikaw mismo nakakita ng sunog, for example, sa kapitbahay o sa bahay mo, ano kayang sasabihin mo? Mayroon magsasabi, sunog, sunog, maaari ang iba, tubig, tubig, maaari ang iba, bumbiro, bumbiro, pero ang isa lang patutong sa London. Isa lang. Ang sunog. Kaya dito natin nakikita, mga kapatid, in terms of trouble, maaari, 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 maraming nasasabi, pero isa lang ang patutong sa London. In essence, this event is can tell us that there are two storms that happening, the storm in the sea and the storm in the heart of the, this man. This is a fulfillment in, in Psalms 107, verse 25 to 32. Again, what's the, the first point? The glorious storm. Second, second point we see. The third point, sailors. Thirdly, and the last point is the faithful Savior, verse 26 to 27. He said, He said to them, Why are you afraid, you men of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and it became perfectly calm. No? Grabe po ang Panginoon. Alam naman natin, He is a powerful God. The man the men were amazed and said, What kind of man is this that even the winds and the sea of the wind? Yeah, he said to them, Why are you afraid, you men of little faith? Minsan, sa buhay natin, ito yung, kumbaga, ito yung habang pinag-aralan ko po to, talagang, pag once na nakaranas na medyo matindig na problema, ito yung, Sinukan sa atin ng Panginoon. No? Mga kapatid. Jesus said, we go to the other side, in Mark 4.34, 4.35, Matthew 8.18, Luke 8.22, Sinabi ni Jesus na kahit sa, sa alo, anong paraan ay hindi madali, kahit na hindi niya binabanggit na magkaroon na matinding bagyo, lindol sa lupa, ngunit tiyak na, ginagam, na ginagarantihan niya ang isang isang ligtas at maayos na pagdating sa kabilang bahagi ng lawa. Ano sa palagay mo ang mga dahilan nito? Sapagkat kasama natin ang Panginoon. Ito. The Lord is with him. Ipakita, ipinakita ng Panginoon ang kanyang kapangyarihan. Pagaling, pangangaral, pagtuturo, pagbibigay ng otoridad bilang anak ng tao, tumakas. Tumakay si Jesus sa kanila bukod, bukod sa, sa mga bangka ay hindi bumawa simple. Liligkas niya ang kanyang mga alagad. Dito po natin ay ito. Application for all. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ang Diyos ay totoo. Pa rin ngayon. Maari kang makaranas ng pag-uusig, paninirang puri, pamaliliit ng tao, pagmumura, paninirang puri sa karakter o kahit na mabigat na mga pagsubok sa iyong buhay. Sigurado'y hindi madali ito. Ngayon pa man, mas natitiyak natin na maaari ka matag- magtatagumpay ng simple. Sapagkat nangako siya 
Maingatan tayo ng Diyos. Grabe. Ito yung sinabi dito. The Lord is in perfect peace at the, at that moment. The Lord was left to be buying a trail. I believe that this should be a trail. Therefore, to be calm is what wants to, be, to do when we realize He is with us. This is the lesson of about food. Hindi ba, hindi ka ba naniwala sa akin at sa aking pag-ibig, aking kapangyarihan? Malawang pangunahing aral, kung naniwala ka sa pag-ibig ng Diyos at sa pangyarihan ng Diyos, malagpasan mo ang umang bagyo. Ngayon po, mga kapatid, totoo po yun. Alam mong nagmamalasakit sa iyo ang Diyos. Alam mong kaya niya ang sitwasyon, anumang kahit anong sitwasyon. Dapat nating mahalin ang Diyos. <clears throat> At may kapangriyahan ang Diyos na iligtas ako. Ayon. At pinukristin nila kung anong nagmamalasakit ba siya. At sinatanong nila kung makakaya niya. At sinabi niya, o, oh, kayo may mga liit na mapananampalataya. Yun ang nilalaman na natutunang aral ng pagkataon ng Neso sa kanyang mga alaga tungkol sa halaga ng pananampalataya. Ito yun po. Ito po ang tinatanong sa atin ng Panginoon. Kung gaano na ba kalaki ang pananampalataya natin. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea and it became perfect calm. We witnessed the race of sovereignty authority bestowed by Jesus by surpassing His power and authority over the nature, over their difficulties. Putting in Him the spotlight. Mark 4, 39 tells us, And He gave out and rebuked the wind, and He said, and said to the sea, God is always here, their cry. He is an attentive to their needs. <clears throat> Jesus rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Hush, be still. Literally, he ordered to win the spot. Not like in Davao. Not like in Tibuloy. Not like Tibuloy, ha? Iba si Tibuloy. Isa sa ating Panginoon. Has, sabi dito, be still and the wind will die down and become perfect calm. Means this silent. It is like a dog stopping to bark. Be still. No more waves. No more winds in my spirit. Grabe po. Sa isang iglap na wala ang bagyo, ang lahat na wala. It is like a dog stopping to bark be still. How sudden, how sudden, how quick it is. And the wind died down the word and signifies that this moment is terrible. The wind stopped immediately. What is result? Become perfectly calm. What is the little of this? Title of this teaching, Jesus Calming the Storm. A sovereignty authority of the Lord Jesus is being displayed. Application po. Mayroon ba mga bagay na mahirap sa ating Panginoon? Hindi. Hindi ito magagawa ng Panginoon para sa inyo. Hindi lamang siya ay ordinaryo mga salita, ngunit itinakita ang natapos na umaari itong gawin. Ang katiyakan ng Diyos uang magkakaroon ng mga bagyo sa buhay. Ngunit tiyak na hindi natin haharapin ang mga bagyo ng mag-isa. Kasi kasama natin si Kristo kung saan tayo magpunta. Sabi sa Matthew 28.18 And Jesus come up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo. That includes the nature, kasama na. There is no greater assurance but to see that Savior is together with you in the boat. Philippians 4 emphasizes that this word. 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Number 6. Chapter, uh, verse 7, the peace of God which surpasses all comp- comprehension 
will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. No? Ang ganda po nang sinabi ni Apostle Pablo sa Philippians 4. In Israel scripture, all Testament events are emphatic, emphatic that God alone controls the sea. The Red Sea controls crossing in Exodus 14, may kita po natin doon, the Psalms 65-7 fulfilled the roaring of the sea, the roaring of the waves, and the torment of the of the peoples. Psalms 89-9, you roll the swelling of the sea, when it waves rise, you still the wind. Psalms 107-7, 25, verse 25. For he spoke and raised up a stormy wind. He lifted up the waves of the sea. The theological impact of this verse is that Jesus used the same language to rebuke the winds as God did when he rebuked the waters or creator. Creation is being described in Job 26, the greatness of God. He has incredible inscribed a circle of the surface of the waters. A boundary of the light and darkness. The pillars of heaven tremble and are and are amazed of this video. The quiet the sea with his power, and this understanding is he has shattered the heart. Being in a boat with the Lord has a sense of responsibility. What do you think the reason why we are we're afraid of? Afraid means cowardly, the duagan, fear, emotionally melt down as if Jesus was not there. Application po mga kapatid. Ang pinakamalaking pangamit sa buhay ay hindi talaga ang bagyo mismo. Hindi ang lumulubog ng bangka, ngunit sa halip ay hindi pagtitiwala o hindi kinikilala ang Diyos ay nasa gitna ng mga bagyo at unod. Sa buhay, ito ay may lumiliit sa diwa ng kawalang paniniwala. Minsan, madal- hindi lang minsan, madalas sa mga taong walang pananampalataya. Sa kabila ng kung ano ang kanilang karanasan sa Panginoon, hindi pananiwalaan ng mga alagad kung ano ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Mula sa pananaw ni Jesus hanggang sa kanyang mga disipulo ay sapat na nakakita upang magdaroon ng pananampalataya sa kanyang kapangyarihan na protektahan sila. No? Grabe po. The men were amazed and said. Mark 4.40 they are a fearful, means cowardly or timid, through the events, whereas the full understanding of Jesus is homeward, demonstrate the divine authority made them terrified. The other translation used mother. Jesus quickly stayed the waters to amazement of the disciples. How Jesus demonstrated the faithfulness of his disciples is showed kindness, peace, grace, and assurance. The word main is an anthropoid, anthropoid as a human. There is the benefits of that we can hold in when we are with Lord Jesus. No? Radio. Kaya kasama tayo mga kapatid. What kind of man is this? Sabi nila. What kind of man is this? English translation but in Greek word is one word. Utakos. Means from the what country or what church? Grabe nagtanong sila. It rendered what manner of man signifying that Jesus is not an ordinary man. Ganoon po. That even the winds and the, the sea obey him. Winds and sea represent the nature. How can we say that Jesus is God? By, by the testimony of this scripture, 
be obedient. A bad word, upako in Greek, upakuo in Greek, which simply means to submit, natural aiming submit to Christ. That what makes them marveled or amazed, Jesus displays his sweet power in their very own eyes. What a wonderful story of trusting and believing to the powerful God that we are serving today. Hallelujah po. Peace God po, mga kapatid. Natapos na po natin ang tatlong puntos. The Furious Storm 1, verse 23 to 24. Number 2, The Purple Sailors, verse 25. The Pitbull Sidio, verse 26 to 27. Kung kulosin na po tayo. Jesus used this authority over nature. That means, He is God. So what is missing? To be as today. Matthew presents as the building side of Jesus. As the king. The ruler of the kingdom that He is bringing. Ano po ang kredensal na meron ng ating Panginoon? Sabi dito, Jesus is the one who can conquer, conquer. Jesus. Jesus is the one who can cure nature. Jesus is the one who can cure sin. Jesus is the one who can cure demons. Jesus is the one who can curse death. Jesus is the one who can turn life in your life. Grabe po. These are the few that first fit to the credentials of the king that is worthy to be placed po na kapit honor and reverse sa ilang po natin siyang sambahin. Ito po yung kapatuhan. Application In Hebrews 1 1 verse 2 to 3 Ngunit sa mga huling araw na ito siya ay nagsalita sa atin sa pamagitan ng kanyang anak Sa pamagitan ng anak ay nilikha ng Diyos ang sanlibutan. Siya ang piniling tatapagmana ng lahat ng bagay. Verse 3, nakikita sa anak ang kalwalatiyaan ng Diyos kung ano ang Diyos ay gayon din ang anak. Siya ang nag-iingat sa sansinukob sa pamagitan ng kanyang makapangyarihan sa lika. Pagkatapos linisin tayo sa ating kasalanan, siya ay umupo sa kanan ng makapangyarihan doon sa langit. No? Alam naman natin, when the Bible says, Jesus upholds that words, His power, ano ba, ano ba ibig sabihin yan? The power to reverse the curse, the power to bring back Eden, the power to create a new heaven and a new earth. Jesus come to show us that power. No? Pinakita po sa atin ng Panginoon. Yung mga kapangyarihan na yan. Jesus came into the world to declare that He was God and, and that He is as God the Son. Had the power to bring the kingdom of God to cross earth that He was the promised King, the promised Messiah that He could give back to the sovereign, sovereignly to the man. No? How much more that disciples care, turning into faith, their worry lived into for sin. And their trials lived into triumph. For what reason? Jesus is the is in the boat. Jesus was with him. That is in the thick of the divine assurance that God gives to those aids in him. Yan po ang assurance sa mga taong nagtitiwala sa ating Panginoon. Balikan po natin ang mga huling talata ng, uh, ng ating pinag-aralan. The main marble scene, what kind of man is this? What kind of person is this? That even the winds and the sea of being in. The gospel of mercy, they were exceeding afraid, marseying when the storm came. They were afraid. Marches when Jesus stopped the storm, they were exceeding afraid. 
What is the application here? You know, what's more purple than being in a storm, realizing that you are standing in the presence of the living God. Ito po, no, mga kapatid, ang pinaka buod. What is, what an experience to know that God is in your, in your boat. That was more, that was far more terrifying that, than any storm. It is not the storm that matters. It is the presence of the living God that matters more, most. Can we agree by Job, Isaiah, and these apostles of the, the Lord for a while? That we, when we see, realize that we stand in the presence of the Almighty, the powerful, omniscient God, which is Jesus Christ. What should be our reaction? In Job 24, 5 to 6, said, When Peter, when Peter saw God in the ocean of fishing on the sea, he said, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O God, O Lord. When the Apostle Paul saw that in the form of a resurrected glorious Jesus Christ, he fell on, the, on his face in the, in the dirt and he was blind. And you would be as overwhelmed, overwhelmed with holiness if you were to stand in, the, in his presence. Challenge po, mga kapatid. If you are in the in presence of God, what will be your reaction? For me, we should have unfaith cry with the disciples, apostles of Jesus. Look to the king. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. Ito po dapat ang sasabihin natin. Lord, increase our faith. Discussion question. Mga kapatid, dito na po tayo. What kind of storm that you really experience today? Those shaking your faith, resulting into fear. Number two, knowing that Jesus is with you, how confident you are that you are safe and calm. Ngayon po mga kapatid, ang ating mga pag-aralan, um, may resources po ako sa, mga, sa quick verse, Ito po, ang babasa po natin dito mga kapatid, yung mga resources po. At sino pong may karagdagan para pagtibayin at, at mga tanong, and then po ang ating mga pastor. Purin po ang Panginoon mga kapatid.